actually how I found it. Our next subject, documents have come to light revealing that NASA abandoned astronauts to die on the moon. In particular, the Apollo 16 mission, John Young, Ken Mattingly, and Charles Duke, 1972. This has been covered up and has only now just come to light as a result of a uh, Freedom of Information Act request uh, by you, Kevin. Uh, well, I've always been very skeptical of the space program. It's highly secretive. It's ruthless. They've been abandoning people since 1969. Uh, so I think it's very, very ominous, and it always has been. And it doesn't surprise me at all. I, I got to agree with Kevin here. I mean, anyone who doesn't think that this stuff goes on in our government, every agency, every department, I don't care, uh, post office, Amtrak, um, there are deaths covered up. There are people abandoned to starve, to, to die of thirst. It happens, and it happens with astonishing frequency. I, I must say, I was both stunned and it was a revelation to me when this happened. Ken Mattingly was a friend of mine, and I just sort of lost touch with him in the uh, early 1970s. I kept writing, I got nothing back. I thought, that guy's just being an asshole. All of a sudden now, I realized that he was the victim of the Nixon administration. It's well, amazing. The, the, the cover story was that he had uh, joined a monastery. I remember the day that Krista McAuliffe died, and I just... I just cried and cried and cried and cried. I still cry. But does it ever make you think, yes, we can put a man on the moon, but no, we can't even put a teacher in orbit? What kind of country are we? When was this? Um, exactly. Yeah, how quickly we forget. I remember I had a girlfriend at the time, and we were sharing an apartment. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember that apartment. Yeah, and she was very upset about the space shuttle. Mm -hmm. uh, I do remember that. I think we were going to go shopping that day. She was into um, rugs. You know, mm -hmm. she's, she got me into that, okay? Yeah. And she wanted to go out and, and get her, and, we, and we, we didn't do it because she was so upset about the shuttle. I remember your girlfriend. I, mm -hmm. I remember that apartment. But I do not remember any space shuttle. I, I got to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Here's a question. What's she doing now? You know, uh, she's living in Saratoga Springs. I no saw kidding. Her this I saw her no this summer kidding. at a picnic. Yeah. Let, let, me, let me take it back to the policy issues. I, I first got disillusioned with government with Watergate, you know, to realize that people, presidents could lie to you. And I remember the moment when I went into a rug store and the guy said, this is the best sale we've ever had. And he'd said the same thing to me the week before. And mm -hmm. I realized that these, these sales are scams. You know, you, it's, it's mm -hmm. how you get a public that just doesn't believe anybody. Mm -hmm. how, how did she look? Uh, pretty nice. She's got yeah. three kids, but look pretty nice. Yeah, she kept her figure. Oh yeah, Saratoga. Yeah, that was our place. To to take up uh, Norm's cause and get us a little bit back on track, I remember a party at that apartment. Yeah, I think you yeah. were there, the Bank Street apartment. And your girlfriend had a friend, and I remember making out Jenny with her. Jenny Strickland. Yes, and she drew back and looked at me and said, you must have been hot in college. And instantly I knew, I felt oh, my age. And they say that old age is the biggest surprise a man gets. Is old age the biggest surprise a man can get? Well, you know, I've heard it's that and his father's death. So there's mm. the two. I oh. think that that's supposed to be the one time a man cries. Uh, when he realizes that he's old. When his father dies. Oh. Okay. Mm. Maybe it's both. Mm -hmm. 